So the CT6 is still a few months from coming out, so we don't have any real definitive information available to us right now. But we'll go ahead and take a look around the redesigned exterior. So starting off, the most obvious difference to the front design is going to be your new Cadillac grille. It features a black mesh like the XT4. I'm not sure if every trim gets this or not. Then going over to your headlights, they also have a redesigned look. Of course, they are fully LED with your signature daytime running lights and turn signals going down the side there. And the design does match closely with the brand new tail lights, which we'll get to in a minute. Now walking around to the wheels, we have 20-inch alloys on most trims. This is not the new V-Sport that's coming out later on in the year with the twin-turbo V8. Uh, obviously that would have uh, different things. It also comes with summer performance tires as well. Size-wise, nothing's changed for the CT6 this year. So it continues to come in kind of in between segments. So it's a little bit smaller than an S-Class, for example, but also larger than an E-Class but it has a very long, elegant look. And then moving around to the back, we've got the brand new tail light design. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Uh, you now have this jut that comes in, and this one accent light that comes all the way down and around, so very nice looking. Across the back, you have a new chrome accent that connects the two tail lights. And then down below we have quad exhaust to really set the design off. This particular model is the 3 liter twin turbo. Like I said, the V Sport will come out with a twin turbo V8 later on in the year. So that's going to be really cool. Anyways, that's pretty much the design of the vehicle. So now we'll go ahead and hop inside and see what Cadillac has done in there. Okay, so first look inside. Of course, this is your typical Cadillac look, but this is a very nice interior. It looks very premium, very upscale. Of course, you do have a few new touches like the steering wheel. And coming over to the door trim, and it's made of superb materials. You've got leather where your armor rest, goes above it, and even here on the top portion, this is leather stitched. You do have a silver painted door handle, some more wood trim. And your seat adjustments are actually on here on the door, so kind of like a Mercedes. Additionally, all four of your windows are fully automatic, that's expected. And here's your trunk release. The seat is a beautiful design. You've got nice Cadillac branding here. The leather is absolutely superb. This feels like semi aniline I'm not really sure, but it definitely feels great. Nice leather design, perforation. You have nice Cadillac scuff plates. Let's go ahead and get out. So like I said, this is a pre-production model. We can't drive it or anything. It's not for sale. Uh, however, I will go over some of the details and show you some of the changes for 2019. So we'll go ahead and light up the vehicle here. Turn off the Willie Nelson there. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is how cool these gauges are. Really high resolution. We've got three chunks here, all fully digital. Um, so you can just press through these things here to change out your settings. Then you can switch over to the center part. We do have night vision system available. And then you can go over to this side and customize this. So it's really cool you have three separate chunks that can all be reconfigured individually. Now coming back to the steering wheel, it is beautifully leather wrapped. You have real wood and real aluminum, as well as leather wrapping on the airbag cover. We also have fully real aluminum paddle shifters, so they sound really amazing and feel really good. 
Now, I do want to mention this up here. This is your uh, light that lights up uh, with your Super Cruise. So, of course, as you know, GM is a leader in the autonomous driving category and the CT6, several of the trims, uh, I believe the Platinum comes standard with Super Cruise and you can option on to lower trims as well. Uh, let's see, the wheel is power adjusting. And off to the side we have our buttons for our heads up display. Let me raise it up here so we can actually see it. There we go. So as you can see, this is, I believe it is 10 inch head up display. It contains all types of information. It just depends on whatever you have activated, like navigation or whatnot. Now we'll drop over here to your center console area. There are some changes over here. Uh, we have a new shifter. It is still electronic, but a slightly easier to use design. And we also have a wheel for the Cadillac Q system versus the track pad that was previously available on this vehicle. Opening up the center console, we have a really well uh, executed space, uh, fell line on all sides, and you've got USB, USB type C, and then we got an SD card slot. This right here is your wireless phone charger. Uh, this is the new generation of wireless phone chargers, so it has more power. And you just simply put your phone there, and then this will just shut right around it, so you can pull this out, in and out, but it also keeps it from moving around, so it's a pretty cool design. Of course, this is all real wood. It looks like this is like a walnut or something like that. Uh, it's really beautiful. And uh, you will also notice like I said, I don't even know what trim this is. It is pre-production. But we do have a carbon fiber trim that comes underneath wood, and then we have leather on pretty much all the other surfaces of the vehicle. All across the top is fully leather, as well as the door trim, long here, full uh, aluminum door handle, as well as the armrest. So material quality in here is really excellent. Checking out the climate controls, these have the same look as a lot of recent Cadillacs. Uh, one thing I like about it is it has the sleek look of capacitive buttons, but these buttons are actually physical, so that you do just click on them. Uh, so that makes a pretty big difference as far as usability. Now coming up here to the display, as you'd expect, this has the newest version of Q. I believe this display is 10 inches and you have all the uh, updated controls. Like I said, you can also use this wheel. So it's pretty handy. If you don't want to put fingerprints on the vehicle, you can just click into things like the navigation. Inside here, we have the updated General Motors map. So it has really high resolution. That's very responsive. You can also pinch the zoom and you have the 3D look, which I like a lot. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a song through this model's really fancy Panerai sound system. I believe it has like 20 speakers or something like that. sound quality is awesome. As far as other details of the inside, you have this button which drops down your glove box. And all this lower area is also wrapped in leather, so like I said, really luxurious. Up top here, we've got the rear view uh, camera system. Of course, that's pretty handy. And then we do have a panoramic moonroof. Uh, the front panel does open up, and both have power sunshades. And yeah, that's pretty much the CT6's cabin. Um, honestly, sitting in here, I've never been in a CT6 before, and this is actually a beautiful, beautiful cabin. I'm very, very impressed. Um, and 
honestly, I think it can go head to head with some of the German rivals uh, because the materials are absolutely superb. So let's go ahead and check out the second row seats. Obviously your rear door trim is really nice as well. Got leather padding. And I didn't even mention this, but in the front, it's also really a, a nice padded plastic even all the way down at the bottom. Of course, you do have leather stitching up here as well, and you have a rear sunshade. I also like to point out these metal speaker grills. These are actually beautiful metal speaker, gr speaker grills. It's a really nice touch. Something to make it stand apart from some of the rivals. You do have a fully metal door handle, as well as your automatic window. And interestingly enough, you do have heated and ventilated rear seats, which is a pretty awesome feature to have. Um, a lot of the rivals do have to uh, option on an executive rear seat package to get those features, so that's a really nice touch from Cadillac. Obviously, looking back here, there is tons of space. It's a full-size uh, luxury sedan, so you have plenty of legroom, and your seat is gorgeous, just like the front very comfortable. Honestly, these are some of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. Nice perforated design. And of course, you do have some scuff plates back here as well. Into the back to show you all the cool stuff in here. Starting out with, we've got sunshades. And then you've got controls for both your rear moonroof and your back shade so you can fully darken this up if you want. We've also of course got all of our full climate controls here, all the buttons, and we have air vents both here and up here on the roof right above our head so that's really nice. This vehicle also has three stage heated and three stage ventilated seats back here. And then if you grab the center console and fold it down, so when this folds down, you can have controls for this back seat so we can fully push this back and recline all the way back, stretch out. I've even got four-way lumbar support and if I press this button, I activate a massaging function so right now I'm getting a full back massage, so really cool. this back here a little bit. This is all leather wrapped and if I open this up I come into my storage compartment where I've got some headphones and that go along with our rear entertainment systems. So let's check out the trunk real quick. Obviously you do have a power trunk just have to locate the button under the lid. It's full of a lot of stuff back here, but that goes to show you how much stuff you can fit back here. You fit these two big boxes as well as a backpack. I'm sure it has plenty of space, probably about 20 cubic feet. And like I said, it is power. your passenger seat is the same adjustment adjustments as the driver and like I said they're not in the seat they're actually on the door trim here so it's also worth mentioning you do have two-person memory seats even for the passenger side which is pretty unique and in order to open the glove box you actually have a button in the screen basically to open it it's electric electronically open and of course this is felt lined as well um, and like I said it is leather wrapped for your sun visor, of course, you do have a mirror and light. So yeah, very quality vehicle overall. Well, 
Well guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this really quick look at the 2019 Cadillac CT6 fully loaded. Stay watching for a quick look at the pricing and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons below. Like I said, we had a really quick look at this today. We couldn't uh, do very much with it, but we just wanted to give you guys a really quick look at it and see how you liked it. So, catch you next time and please subscribe.